So I've got Honey now situated so that the driver's side is the side I'm going to paint first and it's in the shade and it's going to stay in the shade all day so it won't ever get sun on it at this position. So that'll give the paint time to dry. It takes about eight hours for this particular paint to dry and what I'm using is this one here. It's called Fisherman's Paint. It's a marine paint but it's for above the waterline not below the waterline. I've heard good things about it. I don't think it's available in the States unless you have home hardwares down there because it is I think specific to the home hardware stores. It's probably the same as any other above the waterline marine paint. And there are bugs jumping on the paint. I just flicked a June bug off. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to do a second coat. I can see a few places where I will need to do some sanding. Here, you can see there's a ridge there and I want to sand that ridge out so it looks smoother. So I will do that and then I will probably put a second coat on. I have enough paint, I think. So now this needs to dry for eight hours before I can do anything else with it. And this evening, when the sun goes down behind the house, I can maybe get the other side and the back done as well. Good morning. So last night, after I had spent yesterday morning and then later in the afternoon painting the two sides of honey as well as the back, I was inside relaxing, feeling like I'd done a good day's work, when all of a sudden, there was thunder, and then there was lightning, and then there was pouring rain. Yeah, rained all over my brand new paint job on Honey. I was so ticked off at the weatherman because I checked the weather forecast yesterday morning before I started painting. It said it was going to be 30 degrees-ish all day long, and there was 1% chance of rain. It poured for several hours last night. And you can see by my hair, I ran out there in the pouring rain. I didn't put a coat on or anything. I ran out, I had my pajamas on and I got absolutely drenched. I looked like a drowned rat when I came back and I actually still kind of look like a drowned rat. But I managed to get tarps up over top of honey. She was already wet, but the paint had dried to the point where it didn't seem to be affecting the paint. Thank goodness. Uh, it dried fairly quickly and, and it may be because it was warmer. I don't know. The paint can says you can recoat after eight hours. I'm not going to do that until probably later today because it now needs, I think, extra time to dry. It was pretty traumatic and I admit, I cried. <laughs> I was so upset. I had spent all that time getting things done, working on getting the paint on and then to have it pour rain when it wasn't supposed to. Well, my goodness, I don't like weatherman. I don't know if I'll ever believe a weatherman ever, ever again. But I'm going to go out now and take the tarps off because it's foggy outside. I don't know if you can see out my window right here. It is foggy out, but supposedly the sky is clear above it and there's a slight chance of rain this morning, but it's already wet. So I protected it from most of the downpour, but it was already wet. So I don't really know if putting the tarps on did anything. Oh well. Now I'm going to go take the tarps off so that when the sun does come out, it can actually dry up the water and get that paint cured. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. So there you can see how foggy it is. But supposedly up there is clear blue sky. And there is Honey in her makeshift tarp tent. You can see I was grabbing pieces of wood. I had all these tarps that I had bought to do another project around the house with. So thankfully they were all sitting there waiting to be used. Otherwise I would have, I don't know, I would have freaked out even more than I already did. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna go take those tarps off so she has a chance to dry the rain off and then dry off the paint. 
still smells like paint. Looks okay. It's still wet, but come into my tent. It did actually start to dry. Oh, that's good. And it does look okay. It doesn't look like it's been ruined, but I mean, time is going to tell, right? I don't know how, <laughs> how you tell or how long it takes to tell, but uh, it does look okay. This side is the side that I did first when it was in the shade, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all, really. Oh, phew. <laughs> That was, a, that was a, a disaster that could have been really, really bad. I would have had to sand all of this off and I would have just probably given up. <laughs> and here's the side that I painted last. And even it had time to dry so it was, I could actually touch it. It wasn't um, sticky or anything. So this paint seems to dry fairly quickly considering it's marine paint. It does have to cure for eight hours. And here we have a fly that has decided to kill itself on my, that's still alive, stupid thing. Come on, get, get, there he flew away. Haha, <laughs> saved him. Still looks good. Hallelujah. So I sanded off the rough parts or the parts where the roller showed some paint pile up. I don't know what you call it. And um, now I'm just dusting off the dust so I can put a second coat on this. So far it's looking really good. I'm really happy with how it's turning out despite getting stuck in a thunder rainstorm. It seemed to do really well. The paint had dried enough so that there doesn't seem to be any damage because of that rain. So that was really good. I'm very relieved about that. After the rainstorm, I let it sit for a full 24 plus hours. And now I'm just going to dust where I've sanded and then I'm gonna put the other coat on. I'm not getting too caught up in it being perfect because it's not going to be perfect. It's a home paint job, but it is going to look a whole lot better than what it did. resort to painting in a tarp tent because we keep on getting thunderstorms. Yesterday I finished painting and looked at the forecast and there was a thunderstorm alert and I thought, oh great, <laughs> better get the tarps back up because I've taken them down already. Seemed to work pretty good though. I'm quite happy with the way this paint job is turning out. It looks quite nice.